Hey, what's up, and welcome to my corner of the internet. It is a beautiful Saturday where I tell you about anime. And today's anime is a wonderful romance. We're feeling a little bit romantic because we are now at the beginning of fall. I am now letting you know that I am continuing school. Well, I've been in school, but you know the vibes. I just want to talk about this beautiful romance that looked so pretty, so incredibly pretty. I'm going to say that over again later, but you know, just letting you know right at this moment. This anime just ended and I think I enjoyed it. It had its issues, it had its problem like most anime, but this is one of the animes that was a romance that I knew no matter what is going to get to where it needed to and it just looks so pretty doing it and I'm obviously talking about my happy marriage. <laughs> So guess what? We're talking about more romance, and with this romance that I'm speaking about, this is a fantasy romance, and it's written by Akumi Agitogi, and basically it's set in an alternate version of the 19th century Meiji Restoration era where we are experiencing a supernatural world. Within this supernatural world, we have spirits, magic, people have these extra little bit of powers that is super fly. Like, I'm not even gonna hold you. When they first started showing the powers, I was like, oh, this looks dumb fire. Like, this looks so nice. And this is animated so nicely. And the one thing that I actually found super annoying about how beautiful it was animated was the pink little halo on each of our characters head that annoyed me so freaking much but regardless of that our main character is mio she is born without supernatural powers within this anime and that kicks off the story where she is basically treated like dirt this is this woman was going through it like unbelievably going through it <laughs> This is like a Cinderella story, but anime. Like, they definitely took a lot of inspiration from Cinderella because the way she was getting treated, the way she was just. Her sister just hated her. Her family was just complete like garbage. And Mio had only like one person that was kind of cool with her. And this anime. A trigger warning because like the mental abuse that is illustrated throughout this anime could totally be triggering the way Mio has become so demure and lacking of hope feelings and aspirations and only wants to just tr cause less trouble for others but she's getting sold off because she's not the marriageable age and she's given to someone who is basically suspected to be like a terrible husband who keeps having to go through wife after wife after what well potential wife and then we meet our main love romance guy kiyoka kudo uh, like sorry i'm butchering everything obviously that's going to be on the screen this guy is at first he was a little much i'm not even gonna lie to you i was i didn't know if he was actually going to be a decent guy at first but then as you grow to understand the story, I could understand how he was a little bit jaded from the process of being married and finding people. He's definitely one of those guys that gets in these arranged marriages, but really wants to have a more normal, I guess normal to like Western society, a more normal way of just meeting people and conversating with them. I think he would probably be more into that than like the arranged marriages because like basically you, they just move into his house and hopefully it works out and it's kind of like ah if this doesn't work out then it's like shame on both of us and then rumors are going all around i love this mixture of western and japanese society uh basically a good bit of western influence comes in through the outfits through some of the conversations and through i guess some of the technologies that are in there i love this mixture it, it's kind of fire and this anime definitely combines so many different aspects and it doesn't look abnormal while it's all together. 
Now, let me just keep this up front and center. This is a romance. This is a romance where we see two characters slowly but surely drift together and deal with the forces that are trying to pull them apart. Either it be families, either it be their own just misguidedness of trying to make a relationship work when they've never necessarily been at that point where they had the ability to really be themselves and have a relationship that is successful together. This anime does not try to take away from its romances. It genuinely showcases us a story with the terror. Basically, uh, Kiyoka is like this commander in like the supernatural police and he is fire he has his powers the way he uses lightning the way he moves when he's ready to when he's ready to step outside he's ready to step outside like he'll just go burn down an entire family's home because like why are you mistreating my wife why are you trying to take away my wife to be you know like he, he he stepped up and when he stepped up he was outside with it like it was no hesitation i'm outside with these powers you gonna catch this lightning and he was cool man like this anime felt like two people really trying to be together and the world just not letting that happen and then also what I liked about this anime so much was our main girl, oh my god, you felt so sorry for her. Like, the way she lost her mother, the way that her father mistreated her, the way she had nobody, and the little things that she had were just taken away from her bit by bit. And then later on in the anime, she is just struggling to deal with her mental health. And then she gets these nightmares that are like tossing and turning. And destroying her from the inside and out. And God, it gets a little rough. Like trigger warning. For real, for real. For some of you that's going to watch this, it gets rough. And the story is genuine about human emotions. I'll give you that. What made this anime, I guess, magical, <laughs> phrasing, was you knew that there was, there was a gentle change within all of our characters. We do not end where we start. All of our characters gently grow towards just a better, happy ending, I guess. Mio ends up discovering she actually has powers, but they were sealed, and you'll find out how and when and whatever else later, and then... I do wish there was a bit more background information. I do wish there was a bit more um, world building, at least for me, because I think it would have narrowed down the villain and, and also, I guess, the main like antagonist within this anime, other than just the tragic forces that are just acting upon our characters and basically these characters that are plotting something evil but you never really understand why it's evil other than like these bad spirits that are making people pass out and like never wake up ever again that coincidentally coincides with the power that Mio soon discovers that was sealed within her it was all coincidental I understand that's just not the main point of this story I think it was just another plot device that give that further push towards our two characters actually being together and Mio's growth from it and understanding her family, understanding her mother. There's a lot of things that I wish could have been done better, but this anime was still beautiful nonetheless. All in all, this was a pretty anime that lacked a little bit in writing when it had other opposing forces. And it was beautiful, it tried, and each episode wasn't necessarily wasted. We got the moments that it felt a little slice of life and then the moments where it felt like hard romance and then uh, premiere drama that was genuinely concerning. Like, we all hate her sister. We hate Mio's sister, son. Oh my gosh, she has so much issues and such a inferiority complex that it was just concerning how she would treat Mio. But you'll find that out once you watch this anime. I totally recommend this to you. This wasn't half bad. I'm really glad that this came out last season. It was a vibe and I'm glad that it kept going. It kept doing what it was supposed to and you know, I, 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 you should totally watch this. So please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out. I really appreciate you. And more videos mainly on Fridays and Saturdays. And I may add a couple 
random bonus ones because you know i'm feeling it it's the season to make things anyway i appreciate you keep doing your best and keep trying peace